Good afternoon, Good afternoon, Glory Good afternoon, good afternoon, and welcome, welcome, welcome to the on talk show. This afternoon, we have a powerful speaker, a mighty woman of God. I mean, I'm telling you, she's an awesome, awesome woman of God. She's authorized by God. Hallelujah. Glory Praise God. God. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Pastor Roberta Payne, thank you for consenting to coming on Love to Life online talk show. Bless you. Bless you. Bless you. Woman of God, before we start, I'm going to open up in prayer. Amen. 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 Father God, in the name of Jesus, we praise you, we worship you, we glorify you, oh God. Father, we pray right now, God, that you have your way this afternoon on this broadcast, God. Father, I pray right now, God, that you anoint the woman of God from the crown of her head to the soles yeah. of her feet, God. You, God. Anoint her mouth this afternoon, God, with calls from heaven, Father. Let us speak with power and authority even more, God, in the name of Jesus, God. And we be careful to give you all the glory and honor and praise in jesus name and jesus name amen 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 oh my goodness oh my god i am so glad <laughs> i am so glad to have you to come on love to life online talk show woman of god Bless you. listen Bless you. i want you to tell us who is pastor roberto Payne? bless you awesome <laughs> praise god he's truly faithful um the things the Lord has done in my life has been what one would say extraordinary. So I just thank God to be here today. Amen. And um, specifically, he deals with me in healing the ministry gift of healing, um, yes. mostly outreach. And you've known me over the years, the things that the Lord has allowed me to be a part of and to and he's yes. demonstrated through the gifts, uh, different, very, very outreach ministries. Yes. So as, as the years go on, um, you're certainly one of the people we've witnessed that the Lord has really blessed and healed. Amen. 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 Your testimony. Amen. And I've had several testimonies of healing. God has blessed me to be healed as well. Yes. And over the years, it's just different sex things that um, God comes whatever way he wants to come, whatever way he wants to use us. So it may not be a traditional fold or a yes. way of sex that we may be aligned to, but He's still God. He still heals. He still moves. Yes, he, he still is. has his way in our lives. Amen. Yes, he does. Yes, he does. Yes, yes he does. Yes, he does. Well, one of God, listen, tell us about your ministry. Um, let the healing begin um outreach ministry. Oh, uh, let the healing begin. Just as I said, uh outreach, uh, wherever we're needed is what we do. Um, and you've known over the years, mostly uh, we've had different type of events that service people from youth to elderly, displaced youth to elderly. Uh, not so much in the building sect, um, but as time went on, it just expand to outside of the church. Um, more, I've always been more of a traditional person, but the Lord kind of evolved me to more of the apostolic type of teaching and learning. And um, so it's very different. Uh, I'm still shifting. <laughs> uh, I'm still shifting. <laughs> so uh, just to unpackage that, um, just some of the ways of way we've always been taught to do things. God's broke breaking the mold. That's just not for me. But in America, in our country. He's tearing down those walls of tradition. And um, that is something that we have to do. We have to let go and let God. We have to be conscious of the will and way of God and the patterns of God. A lot of times we want to just do it that one way. We've always done the way our grandma taught us, the way Uncle yeah. Willie had to do it, <laughs> the way pastor of the bishops, um, this bishop or whomever or wherever we're aligned to whatever type of sect or denomination we're aligned to. A lot of times we want to do things the old way. The We think that's the only way, but yeah, yeah. Uh, we serve a God that's out of the box <laughs> per se. Yeah. He's certainly out of the box. That's, and, right. Um, that's right. That's just what we have to do. Um, the way the world has gone, uh, we really don't have time to worry about 
who's the president of the tissue ministry. We don't have time for that. We don't have time to sit back and worry about who's the president of the van drivers or the deacon of the deacons. We just don't have time for it. The world doesn't want that. The world doesn't care about that. So no, we don't. those are things that we have to come out of. We have to be about yeah. the world's business and winning souls. Amen. So I would just say that as much as going on in this world, um, as much war, war as we, I don't want to just say spiritual warfare, but the wars that are going on in the world among every side of people and mankind you can think of, there's so many wars out there and we can't be a part of that war, but we can pray and offer the Lord. We can offer peace. We can offer strategies that will get them to where God and get, want them to go or offer salvation. Uh, but it's not for us to jump in there and be a part of that. Uh, we can get caught up. Amen. We can. And I mean, even as early in the year when we went through uh, so much with George Floyd and um, the coronavirus, uh, COVID-19, those were things that caused a lot of, uh, I don't I don't even have the words for it, tragedies, uh, yeah. just um, things that were very appalling and as a church, as a body, um, there's a time that there's a place for us, but it's not for us to jump in the war and cause even more friction. And even bringing it all the way till today, I see a lot, um, just a lot of friction online about um, between the prophets and the leaders and which the body supposed to be the body of Christ. Um, I was just talking to a senior prophet yesterday and we, she was just, um, just reiterating how uh, the church, the leaders and the body of Christ, we really don't have time to um, be at war with one another. We don't. Why are we doing that? We don't. Why are we, don't. we doing that? I don't know. Don't Why know. are we at war with among one another? One another? <laughs> Good question. That's the million dollar question. Why? Why are Why? we at war? Why I tell you, one war? reason is we need to repent and get ourselves back in right standing. Uh, we need to acknowledge and have a conscience that we're wrong. We've gotten off track. Uh, we're too caught up. And um, and even what I was saying about, uh, I said this before as well, it's been on my heart um, when the incident, well not incident, but the tragedy with uh, George Floyd, how it, it caused me and many others, many others around the world, it caused me to be angry. I mean, very angry, and uh, and then I was I was angry. Uh, I was mad. I was hurt. Um, and then as I felt the Lord, I felt like, you know, like has America forsaken forsaken us? And then I felt like I just felt numb. And then I felt yeah. mad again. Then I felt then I felt angry again. And then it's a place where we just have to take ourselves out of that and yeah. allow God to be God. As we, God say, to God. as we would say, let go and let God. Amen. Yeah. And on top of that, uh, like I said, the COVID-19, so much war about wearing a mask. Like, really? <laughs> Why is there so much war to wear a mask? I mean, literally, just, just, just. It's just disheartening. It's it's just um, disgusting. It's ridiculous to me. It's ridiculous um, that we have that much bickering. I mean, you, if y'all don't go to church, you never was with God because the government told you to shut your church down. So now you're saying they never was with God. Oh my gosh. Oh my God. I just, I don't, I don't know where we went. Like, where did the church, where did the mindset of Christ go? Like, how is Christ in that? Because you went out shopping and it's COVID, you're not saved? I just don't get it. Let people work through things as they work through it. Amen. So Amen. I just, Amen. I've just been appalled. I'm just over, over the top this year. And I mean, many of us have, I mean, whether we went all the way left or all the way right and fell off and came back, I don't know. But I've just, the things I've seen, I've just, 
blown up. I'm just, I don't even have the words for it. Blown so. away by it. <laughs> blown away by it. But um, it's a woman in fact. Um, I want you to tell us. Tell us about, um, tell us more about you. I know um, you had um, a radio summit, like a talk show at one time in Harrisburg. Yes. Yes, I had, uh, uh, it kind of more was like a ministry talk show similar to yours, amen, uh, just except it was four women, four of us. Uh, we came on every Friday for, uh, I'm not sure how many months that was, I think like a half a year. Um, and we would uh, just open the word of God, we pray among uh, the airwaves, and then we would expound on whatever topic we had, and that was fun. Uh, I haven't started that again. I'm not sure. If the, I don't believe the Lord's leading me to do that. Um, but I will be online. <laughs> I will be online with something. I love, I love tuning in to listen to you, to hear what my sister was saying on there. I was like, oh, I can't wait. Pastor Roberta is on. I'm going in and listen. And I used oh. to just listen to you. <laughs> Oh well, thank you, thank you. <laughs> I'm, I don't think I don't think he's taking me that way. Uh, it, it, it will be something online. I think I think uh, I think I'm going in a way of miracles. Ah, so well, I'm I'm in need for a miracle. <laughs> Hands up, I'm ready. I'm ready. I'm ready. <laughs> I think it'll be something similar, um, but the people will be talking about their miracle. The Lord bless them, how they were Amen. healed. Amen. Amen. So, yeah, I kind of feel that. So, just prayerful about that. It won't be the way that it was last time. So, unless unless it just kind of shift that way. <laughs> but uh, well, woman, you are so humble and 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 um um you walk in obedience before the Lord. So, whatever God tell you to do, I know you're going to do it. Wherever Amen. God needs you to be in the kingdom to build up the kingdom. I know you there to do that as well. But listen, yeah. not only me, but we would like to know, Love to Life online talk show, would like to know, what have you heard in the throne room? Oh, okay. <laughs> um. <laughs> Come on, prophet. Come on, pastor. I would like to say that um, we as a body as a church uh as all mankind i think we need to go back to the word uh the words of jesus that speaks about loving our brethren and loving our neighbor amen yeah. so yeah. i think that um a lot of times uh we're not thinking of a place for our how we would want to treat somebody just as we would want to be treated. So I believe yeah. that, uh, as I said earlier, God's calling us to repent. Um, uh, like I said, people, if it was their family, they would be out there. We have to go so far to get them back and bring them back and say, mm -hmm. wake up, come back. Because they will be stuck in their lane when it comes to their problem or their issue or their family. But I don't think as a brother and we treat one another right. So it goes back to, are we really our brother's keeper? Do we really wow. care about the things, our neighbors, our brethren? Do we really care like that? Do we really care what happened to our everyday brother on the street? when they're hurt and they're broken. Um, or if they're assaulted and we see that on television, do we really care like that? Do we really care about what happens to our neighbor? And then I say, you care when it's in your backyard. And I was thinking on that, I said, why would we have so many wars and it just came to me because it's not in your backyard. You don't care like that because it hasn't touched you. Amen. That's why. That's why you don't care like that. But when it comes down your lane, you get it. And I've been saying that. That's been in my spirit a while. Um, 
it's a shame, it's a mess, it's ridiculous how we treat one another. And as time goes on, I just think that as America, as we come back together, <laughs> as we come back in unity, as a real people, as a body, I think that we will be able to unite and do what the Lord says, love our neighbor, love our brother. Amen. Amen. And um, Amen. I think this is the year that so many astronomical things have happened. Yes. And you don't want to be without Christ. This is not the time to not serve God or to get it right. Playing games. Um, in, when we know better, we need to do better. But if you have no knowledge of God, this is the time that you want to give your life to the Lord. Um, you say, well, I don't know that God you serve. I don't trust. You need to trust. You need to try Jesus. You need to allow him to come into your heart, into your life and save you. Um, this is not a road you want to go down by yourself. Uh, and we we have a support systems, but this is something that takes more than your mom and your grandma. It takes more than your husband. You don't want to go down this road without Christ. This is the time that we want to give our lives to the Lord. Right. We want to allow him to come into our heart and save us and be spirit filled. Amen. This is the Amen. time to let go and let God. We want to Amen. let go of everything, everything. And I'm talking about you that have a lot of money. I mean, things that has always secured you. You want to give your life to Christ. He said, well, I've always had things on my side. Things have always worked in my favor. Um, but in this season, this is the time you want to allow God to be in your life. So many things that have happened. Nobody expected COVID-19 to come like that. That's um, right. All the riots That's that we had, all the situations for 2020, astronomical. And I'm not saying that people don't see ahead. I mean, we, we understand the prophetic gifting, but I'm just saying that in your backyard, you wanna be prepared for what's coming your way. You wanna cover your family. You wanna have a relationship with God. You wanna get to know him for yourself. And I would just say in this time, don't go down that road by yourself. We need our sanity. We need our mind to be clear. Uh, we need peace in our heart. We need to know the love of God, and He's here for us. He wants you to have, He wants you to have the love of God. Amen. He wants you. He, he wants you to know Him in that way. He wants to love you and be there for you. Amen. So this is something that I beckon you. I asked you um, if you're listening out there, and I know people a lot of times don't have a long tension span for uh, social media. But if you hear me on today, the Lord is calling you to uh, give your life to him, um, give your life to Christ. Uh, truly, truly, this is not the time to play around. If you've ever known him, you need to get it right. Amen. If you've ever known God, this is not the time to play. So sometimes not the time, we to, back God, not the time to go back out in the world. This is the time where you want to just get it right before them, um, before God. Yes. This is crucial timing. This is crucial timing. Yes. 2020 is not something you do not have to be spiritual to know that 2020, the things that's come is not nothing to play with. It's so many things that's come that are signs that we have to get this right down here. And this is the chance. When the Lord has ever offered to you, this is the chance. This is the chance to say, Lord, you know what? It's time to let go and let you. It's time to That's let right. go, God, and let you. Yeah, and I yeah. receive you in my heart, Lord. I receive you. I repent of my sins. I ask you to come into my heart and save me yeah, from my yeah. sins. And then you continue to have a relationship. You get a relationship with the Lord. You take that time with him. You want to know him for yourself in this season. Amen. That's right. You want to know the Lord for yourself in this season. That's Amen. Right. That's right. Uh, right. You want to be able to pray for yourself. Amen. Uh, you want to know to pray for yourself. 
you want to know you're covered when you're going down the street, when you're driving somewhere, whatever, whatever's in your life going on. You want to know that you have a relationship with the Almighty God through Jesus Christ. Amen. Right. It's not the time to, to be a critic or skeptical about things. This is time to have faith, believe, and accept him. Amen. We have to move on past the norm and past religion and past all these things that cause us to have excuses that says, I can wait. Oh, it'll be okay. It's okay. It's okay. Mm -hmm. Next year. But 2020 has shown you that it's time to give your life to Christ. This is the time. Amen. This is the time. Thank you. So I don't know what more it would take. Amen. Mm -hmm. I mean, we, we've tried it our way. Mm -hmm. We've done it our way. Uh, we've walked us out as far as we can. But I don't want to go without God. I don't want to be without Christ. I don't want to continue right. to go this way without the Lord in my life. That's so right. for me, this is, this is by faith. Amen. What do we got to lose anyway? Where's the world going That's anyway? Right. What, do we got, what do we have to lose? Give our lives to Christ. Exactly. Come under his protection. Come under his peace. Amen. Come under, come under that umbrella. Amen. And you'll have an awareness. You have a sharp conscience about God and who he is. He'll help you from there. He'll help you to trust him from there. Because you say, well, what do I do now? The churches are closed. Okay, it won't be about the church. But it'll be about you. It'll be about your heart. Amen. It'll be about you accepting God in your heart. Amen. And he knows how to lead us and guide us from here. Amen. He will. Amen. Thank you. He'll cover you. He'll lead you. He'll guide you. He'll guide you where you need to be. Amen. It won't be by the hand of man. Amen. But it'll be by his spirit. Man can't save you. Man can't save you. Man cannot save us. Amen. The work that's done on the cross is for a reason. Yeah. And it's for you. He came for you. He came for all mankind. He came for all mankind. And that takes me back to what I was saying about um, lately. I've been talking about the all lives matter that we put up there. All lives matter. All lives do matter to yeah. God. All lives matter to God. But we need to know that all lives matter to mankind. They don't matter to us. We know that. We know God said that. God, all lives matter to God. We know he went to the cross for everybody, everything. You imagine, yeah. Yeah. did it, what did it, yeah. how they did it, when they did it. We know that, but does it matter to you? Does your life matter? Mm. Do you repent? Do you want to come to God? Do you want to mm. know God Thank for yourself? You. Do you want to be covered when the next tragedy comes? Amen. Do God love us if we're not in the umbrella? We're not saved. We're not there. Oh, God loves us. Yes. Amen. But he said he sent his son to save us. Amen. Yes, he did. Yes, he did. Yes, he did. There's a way. There's a way to God and it's through Jesus Christ. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Father. Yes. Thank you, Father. There's a way to God. Thank you. And it's through Jesus Christ. Wow. Amen. He's the only so way. I, the only way. He's so what I say? Way. Yes, he's the only way. He's the only way. So what I say to myself and others that is, we're supposed to be mature in God. Uh, I just want us to stop feeding so much poison to the people. Social media is there for a reason. Uh, but we don't have to partake in a lot of the evil things. And, you know, the Lord had to deal with me as well. Uh, we have to pull back on some of the things that are that cross fires at this time. Because we, we want to feed people the good news, not a plate of poison. Amen. So sometimes we don't think of it that way. But if they really was to digest that and think on it, it's not edifying. Amen. It's more mind binding than anything. It's not going to help their soul or their spirit. So we have to watch out for how we're exhibiting 
uh, ourselves uh, as as leaders. So, uh, if if I'm going to continue to hand you a plate of poison, I don't see where you're going to grow or want to be a God, be with the Lord at all, be in the body, be in any of it. Forget it, because Amen. That's already offered to you. That's already there. So why would I want to go out my way to be a part of something that's cantankerous? So I think I just think as leaders or as people of God, people in uh, that's walking this walk out with the watch we're doing. Um, and like I said, we were just talking up uh, senior prophet and I. We were talking about how uh, we have to pull back and think about what God would want us to do or how God would want us to commune with the people, um, the things that we say, uh, even in our families and just in our normal everyday life, things that we say or we speak, is it really edifying? Now, I'm not talking about like I talk to you, Pastor Robin, and I'm just, I need somebody to talk to about that situation or whatever. It is like, uh, you're not gonna say you're not gonna get on me. Oh, you can't be saying that. I'm just letting you know that toothache hurts for now, but I'm gonna get it fixed. I believe God for my healing. So I'm not talking about that, but I'm just talking about like uh just letting people know that the real deal, the real thing, the real reality is there's a greater there's a God that's greater than our situation and our circumstance. And his word is true. So uh it doesn't matter what something looks like. We're still going to come through that, but if we're feeding them poison and we're in there just going along doing what we want to do, I don't see where we're going to make that difference. I don't see where social media will have an impact in the arena that that we're a part of, or if we want to be part of social media and have an impact. So, um, I just think we have to be conscious there. Why? Because God called. Why? Because we're walking out this walk just like anybody else that we're teaching and that we're supposed to lead. We don't lead sometimes, do we? We don't lead sometimes. No, we don't. <laughs> mm -mm, we don't. Yeah, <laughs> we don't. <laughs> we don't lead sometimes. Amen. But my thing is, do we want to get it right? Do we want to walk this out? Do we want to be about the Lord's business? Amen. Do you want to see people saved? Do you want to see people delivered? Do you want to see yeah. the world change? Yeah. Do you want to see America yeah. better? Amen. Do we yes. want to see? Yes. yes. I like to see that. I like to see changes. Amen. In this Amen. country. Amen. But um, as we shift, and that's what we're doing, I think there'll be major changes. Uh, it'll be things that we can't put our hand on. To make it work, mm -hmm. we Amen. won't be able. We won't be able to put our hand on it because the Lord is working it out His way. So that's where He's my, taking us. We're not going to be able to figure it out. We're not going to be able to move it. It's going to unfold the way that the Lord wants it to unfold. Yes. And I just think we're so yeah. used to having the same things at the same time, the same station. Everything. Yes. Orderly. Yes. The same old, same old. It's not going to be like that. Actually, starting now, it's starting right now. It won't be the same. Do you see anything the same right now? 2020, anything the same? Everything, it, everything has changed. <laughs> um, certainly, it's different. We're never going to be the same again. It's, 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 it's total difference now. It's total yes. difference now. Yes. And only God, only the Father can save us. Only the Father can lead us and guide us. Only the Father can keep us. He can protect us from danger seen and unseen. Only the Father can. So, Pastor, when you were speaking, you know, this is not the time. This is not the time for us to want to go astray, to want yes. to fall away from God. This is yeah. the time to where we need to be running to God. And asking yeah. God, save us, to help us, to deliver us, show us what's to come. Because I'm telling you, the world is, the world is never going to be the same again. It's That's never right. Going to be the same again. It's never, never going to be the same, same again. If you look now, they trying to um, 
dictate to us how many people can be in the house. No more than 10 people can be in your house because the spread of the corona. I'm like, oh my God. And then people is panicking, you know, buying food, buying um, um, toilet paper, buying yeah. hand sanitizer. I'm like, oh my God, if you just trust and believe God, know that God got you. God That's right. got you. He's not going to drop you. He's going to keep you. He got you. That's He's right. going to protect you. That's Hallelujah. right. Hallelujah. Glory to God. And and, yes. and this is not the time. This is not the time to fall away. But yes. you know what? Um, I see God is drawing the people by his spirit. That's right. They're coming in like not before. They coming yes. in. They coming in. The ones yes. we never thought would be the ones that's getting saved they 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 are being saved now god is yes. them in. they coming absolutely in. they come that's in. good so we have to be on our post they coming in yes we have to be on our post to receive those that's coming that's in right. See, listen some of them coming in hurt they've been beat up by society some that's been right. strung out on drugs some just been out there and god said i'm sending them in for them yes. to come to the church or come, you know, to the people of God so that they can get healed. That's so right. So that they can get delivered. So that we, we can speak into them, speak to their spirits so that they can live again. Amen. That's right. So that's what we have to do. That's right. We, we do. have to do because they coming in. They coming. We're gonna, it's never going to be the same no more. That's right. I pray that they let go and let and God. When they come, the ones that's coming in, you know, don't push them away. They coming in with piercings, with their nose pair, body piercing, tattoos on their face, on their body. Don't push them away. They know the right. that God is going to use. He's going to use them mightily. Yeah. You know? So mm -hmm. when they come, just speak life to them. Give them the word of God. You know, plant the seed. The word of God said one plant of one water, but God give the increase. Just that's what right. God is telling you to do to those souls that's coming in. You that's know, right. love them, embrace them. That's right. We got to remember that's what it's about. That's what it's about, right? <laughs> it's about the souls. Amen. It's all about the souls. It's yeah. all about the souls. Yeah. You know, I think sometimes we forget. We forget sometimes why we do what we do, amen? We go so many different angles and so many different places, but when it gets down to the root of it, it's about the soul, even our own soul, because we don't want to be a castaway. We don't want to go all these places nope. and all these realms in the spirit, amen? And be a castaway. So that's what it's about. That's, that's that's the whole point of why we do what we do. We walking this thing out just it's like we're teaching them to walk it out. That is what we do. What we do. Yes. It's all about the heart. It's all about the heart. The heart is the soul. Amen. Amen. But woman of God, listen, I'm so happy for you. I'm so happy for you. what you're doing in the kingdom. I'm Thank just you. So happy. I'm just so happy. And I love you. I love you. I'm telling you, woman of God, you, you've been a sister. You've been oh. a you've been no. to me. I'm a, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a, I know you. I love you. I love you. I just love you. I love you. Thank you so much. I did want to say that I did get married. Oh, my God. I was I, wanna, <laughs> I was going to say that I was going to go ahead and release that. Uh, I did get married uh, a few weeks ago. So I will be, um, I will be a, 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 announcing that. You know what? And God spoke, I mean, spoke yesterday on Birthday God's Purpose Facebook Live Prayer. He said that he was granting marriages. Yes. Granting marriages. My God. And look at you. You done got married. <laughs> I tell you, God is just so awesome. 
Yeah. Congratulations. Uh, well, thank you. And, and your last <laughs> name is now what? Brown. Brown. It's going to be, it, it is brown. It is brown. <laughs> so it's I will brown. be announcing that. Uh, some of you already knew. Some of you knew, but I uh, will be announcing that. So for those that are still trying to figure it out, well, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I appreciate you. You figure it out. You married, <laughs> and that's that. <laughs> Yes, she well, thank you. Now, <laughs> nothing you can do about it. <laughs> oh, bless it's you. Over and done with. She married now. What <laughs> God, I'm so happy. I well, said, thank oh my you. God, she's glowing. I know it was the glory <laughs> of God, but also marriage too. <laughs> yeah. Yes. Thank you for having me. Thank you for having me. Thank you oh, so much. Oh my God! Much. Thank you for consenting to coming on here. Oh, yes, ma'am. And you look great. You look great. You've been through a lot in the past couple of years. But you look oh wonderful. God. You see me going through. Yes. You, you see me in my dark place. Matter of fact, you was with me in my dark place. Mm -hmm. Taking me to the doctors, to the transplant mm -hmm. um, um, hospital. I yes. Mean, you was with me. Traveled all the way. Traveled from <laughs> Harrisburg to Hershey to Hershey to Norristown. And then back there. I'm telling you, woman, the guy, you was with me. You I was with me. You were praying for me. You was encouraging me, speaking into my life many a times when Praise I wanted God. to throw in the towel, crying mm -hmm. because I ain't want to go through my <laughs> process. The, the Girl, sickness, stop it. You prayed me through. Bless you. Bless you. Yes. I wouldn't give it back for the world. I wouldn't I give think. it back. <laughs> Love you, sis. <laughs> Thank you so much for having me. I love you so much. I love you yeah. so much. I love you so love much. You but listen, oh, oh my God, I'm just so <laughs> excited. I'm so excited you married. Oh, oh my God, yes, yes. Well, yes, thank yes. you. Wait thank minute. you. I said, Who but is better the time. Lucky man? Who is the lucky His name man? is Stanley Brown out of New Jersey. Uh, he is a uh, bishop there. And um, I will okay, be announcing it soon. <laughs> <laughs> so I will be announcing that. Bishop. Yeah, so uh I'm kind of a private person, but I, I am gonna go ahead and announce it though. So. <laughs> Other than here. Well listen, I'm I'm happy for you. Well thank I'm you, happy beautiful. For you. Thank you. You're looking <laughs> so good. You're looking so I'm good. So yeah. Oh my god, yes, really Lord. it's God, it's God, it's God. It's mm -hmm. God. It's God. I thank God for everything. I thank God for doing what he's doing in my life. I thank God for healing me, for delivering me, for setting me free. Yeah. I just thank God. I thank God for everything. Amen. Yeah. Amen. That's the God we serve. I'm going to bring Brianna. Yeah. All right. Yes. Yes. Certainly. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Nice to see you. Yes. Bless Listen, you. Thank you for having me. <laughs> a couple of words. Well, you know, you you can come on here any old time, Pastor. You know, I love Amen. you. You you my sister. Yeah, I'm your <laughs> you sister. Anytime. But Pastor, listen, I'm about to bring Brianna Jackson on to do our billboard shout outs. You want to hold on for a second? I'm going yes, to bring no her problem. into the broadcast. Amen. Ooh, ooh. Hello. Hello. Oh, hi. <laughs> uh, Pastor Roberta Payne, thank you again for being with us today and congratulations once again on your new marital status. Yes. Oh, thank you. <laughs> congratulations. Yes. Thank you. Uh, and in terms of our billboard shout outs today, uh, the Shelton T. Hayes Foundation is still having their annual sock drive. It is continuing on until December the 1st. You guys still have a, a little bit of time to get your donations in. They're looking to collect a thousand pairs of socks to be able to donate to homeless shelters for men, women, and children this winter. If you would like to make a donation, you can send or drop off your sock donation to 7701 Overbrook Avenue, Philadelphia, PA 19151. If you, however, would like to make a monetary donation to go towards purchasing socks for the drive, you can also cash at Rhonda Gore. That's dollar sign R H O N D A G O R 
E. Uh, Apostle Dawn Chisholm and Rebuilding Lives Ministries Crossway has end time prayer every Thursday, Tuesday night Bible study every week, as well as Sunday live services all via Facebook. You can see their flyer on our Love to Life Facebook page, or you can also go to Rebuilding Lives Ministries Facebook Amen. page for further details. Prophetess Joanna Burchett is the founder and CEO of Gospel for You. And she has opened is opening a school called Kids for the Future Learning Academy. So congratulations to her. For more information concerning that, you can also fi- follow her on Facebook as well. And you can Amen. see her um, advertisement flyer for Gospel for You services on our Love to Life Facebook page. Amen. Pastor Leah Artis uh, is, has... With Warrior Wives and Women in Wait every Sunday night, uh, live Eastern Standard Time on Facebook. Um, on our Love to Life Facebook page, you can see all her tags. Uh, she's on Periscope, Facebook, Instagram, and YouTube. You can get all that information there. Amen. Uh, Leadership University presents their Leadership 4.0 uh, with Dr. Ulysses Pratt via Zoom on Saturdays beginning December Amen. the 5th. January the 23rd from 10 to 11 a.m. If you are interested in registering for these courses, uh, early registration ends uh, December the 1st and the cost for that is $75. After December the 1st, registration will be $100. Uh, For more information, you can email leadership4.0 at gmail.com. Again, that flyer, all the information is on our Love to Life Facebook page. Greater Glory Ministry with Pastors Jason and Natasha Glasgow are celebrating their first year anniversary, December the 6th, 2020 at 1030 a.m. The location is 400 East Bringhurst Street, Philadelphia, PA 19141. But they will also be live streaming on Facebook. Their guest speaker for that day will be Chantel Poole, Apostle, excuse me, Chantel Poole. And again, that flyer also is on our Love to Life Facebook page. Amen. Uh, Women Called with Divine Purpose Ministry is hosting the Refiner Fire Women's Retreat uh, April the 23rd through April the 25th, 2021. That sounds so strange to say. Um, But you can see the flyer for all the details concerning uh, registration and costs for the trip uh, on our Love to Life Facebook page. And for more information, you can contact Lady Duncan at 267-979-3214. Uh, if you have a job listing, if you are hiring and would like for us to shout it out, feel free to send yeah. us an advertisement via email to love to life 717 at gmail.com. Currently, yeah. we do have one job listing, and that is with New Destiny Financial Group Agency. Founder and CEO is Robert D. Stone. They're looking to hire nationwide for life insurance agents. If you are certified as a, if you are licensed as a, an agent, that's fine. If you are not, they will also pay for you to get your licensing. So for more information, you can also see that flyer on our Facebook page. Um, we are also looking for amateur artists. If you are an amateur artist of the uh, uh, rap persuasion, the comedian persuasion, poetic persuasion, spoken word artist persuasion, reach out to us also through email and we can... Uh, look to uh, help you uh, showcase your talent via Love to Life. If you Amen. have an event or something you would like shouted out in the billboard shout out section, then also send us your request with an, a flyer attachment to love to life 717 at gmail.com. Uh, we do ask that you have your request in no later than Thursday during the week. This way we can get it in on Saturday and along with the following uh, Tuesday, so forth and so on. You can Amen. find me, Brianna, on YouTube under Live, Breathe, Beat, Desmond Tumor uh, every Friday at 12 noon. Currently, I am doing Friday Faith Sessions, which is essentially a live continuation of She Named It Trevor, where I have 10 episodes that I lay out my uh, testimony about uh, how God moved in my life when I was Amen. diagnosed an extremely rare disease. So feel free to check that out. Again, the YouTube channel is Live Food 
meet desmoid tumor. If you're in the Philadelphia area and you are looking for somewhere uh, as of right now to fellowship on Sundays in person, Amen. Revival Church 11 Deliverance has their doors open every Sunday at 11, by 11. They're open actually at nine, I believe. Uh, we have Christian education at 10. We have service at 11. The location is 2617 West Hunting Park, Philadelphia Avenue. Philadelphia PA 19129 and our uh, overseer there is Apostle Jeanette Gilbert. Uh, just remember that all our advertisements, everything I mentioned in the billboard section can be found on our Love to Life Facebook page. Feel free to look us up, follow and like for uh, uh, any upcoming events. Uh, all broadcasted shows are on our Love to Life online talk show Facebook group. So feel free to go there to see previously broadcasted shows and to uh, chime in on the shows that we broadcast live. Amen. And again, you can contact us through email at love 2 life 717 at gmail.com. That concludes our billboard shout for today. Amen. 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 Lord. Thanks, Brianna. You're welcome. Um, you Thanks. know what? Listen, people of God, I want you guys to tune in Saturday, November the 21st at 9 a.m. We have Apostle Roma Benjamin will be our morning speaker. And then Amen. at 6 p.m. we have Bishop Kenneth, Kenneth. Booker. He uh -huh. will be our evening speaker. I'm telling yeah. you, Saturday is our powerhouse Saturday. Yes. I'm telling you. God is doing That's something be power for us on Saturdays. Amen. Amen. On Love to Life Online Talk Show. But listen, Pastor Roberta Payne, I would like Brown, Pastor Roberta <laughs> Brown. <laughs> well, thank you. Got to get used to that name. Pastor Roberta thank Brown. You. Listen, would you like to um have any last words before we close out? Uh, just thank you both. I think I uh, Love what you're doing. I see it evolving. So I just thank the Lord for his blessing being upon uh, your ministry and all the uh, other streams that are coming. I thank the Lord for that. You're looking good. Both of you doing a good job. <laughs> you got so we're following. Thank we're you. watching. Thank you. Awesome. Thank you. thank you. Thank you for having me as well. Oh, thank you. <laughs> Um, thank you. Apostle, thank, oh, I'm calling you apostle. Pastor, thank, uh -oh. Pastor, thank you for um, coming on to Love to Life online talk show. Listen, I love every, everyone with the love of the Lord. And thank you once again for tuning in to Love to Life online talk show. Um, remember, take the Lord with you all day today. Love you with the love of the Lord. Toodles. Bless you. Bless you. Toodles. Bless you.